Welcome everyone to this lesson. This is Safrozi. In this lesson, we will be running analysis as well as designing this simple fuel station canopy. Alright, so straight away we want to be adding loads to the polines. If you are not in the previous lesson, you can check the previous lesson on how to model this simple fuel station canopy. So let's continue. For the polines loading, we want to just click on the poline. Right click and click on property. So in this uh, poline property, can zoom the polines closely, go straight away to loads, click on that. Now we want to be adding load using this button. So if you check here, the selected load case is G, so we just have to click that, go to add that. When we, once we add this L1 load for G, we go straight away to this W, which is the load itself, uh, double click right there and then put the value for the load 1.2 right there all right come straight away to this place activate Q just like that add that load for that which is L2 we're having Q as also 1.2 in this case, just like this. So, how do you assign the loads to the polines? You come straight away to this provision where you have group, click on there. You can see the loads here. Load 1, select all the loads, click on OK. That is load 2. I'll be assigned successfully to this polyline. Alright? So you come to these provisions and make this other load 1 active. So you can see it there. Load 1. L1. Alright? Come to the provision where you have groups or this place. Select all groups. Click OK. You have a L1 there. Which is a, which has been assigned successfully to all the polines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, and seven, you get up to polyline 18, you can see it there. So the load has been assigned to this polyline successfully. You just have to click on OK. Also do the same thing to this other polyline. Click on that. Right click and click on the property. Since we have already having some loads here, let me check. Alright, so for this polyline, there is no load. So we need to also add the load from G. Click on Add. Double click right there. Make it 1.2. Alright. Click right there. Go to Q. No, not uh, Win Load. Add that. And then. Give it 1.2 as well, just like that. So after which, go straight away to these provisions. Select all of that. It's been applied successfully. Okay. Go back to G. Then go straight away to select the load here to assign it to the polines. Okay. Just like that. Click on OK to assign that. So we have successfully assigned loads to these polines. I want to go straight away to analysis tab. Click right there. Click on building analysis. In the building analysis, you just have to check the parameters. So these are the codes of practice will be considered in this design. So you want to change it, you can just change it through this place. Alright, you click on this select. 
to change the code depending on the one you want to use okay we cancel that go straight away to the foundations so allowable stress of soil for this case we are considering 140 kilonewton per meter cubes and the soil subgrade we are considering 50 thousands kilonewton per meter cube the laterite lateral loading you just have to leave it at these factors all right and the drive you make sure it is braced in direction one also braced in direction two all right which is the columns then for the title you can't change it and fill these provisions all right made by surfacing all right or fill that letter that is not an issue for now click on okay go straight away to loading combinations click there and then you can't be able to make use of these loading combinations or you can delete them and form another one but we'll go by this one right click on ok after which for we load this is not an high rise building and so we won't have need for wind load all right so click on this edit material to check the material it's only columns so we'll be considering 16 and 24 only columns foundation columns right click on that and check the foundations we'll be having 16 and 12 for foundations all right and then for go back to material again for this one the trusses the steel strength we'll be using 279 for the steel strength or the steel strength okay the program is select the strength depending on the analysis and design re report all right so click on okay before i start the analysis by going to the analysis tab i want to first of all save the project and after i need to close this after all the necessary settings click on save to save the project so the project is successfully saved now i'll go back to the analysis tab click right there and i will go straight away to analysis tab i'll be checking steam member design check but before then i want to carry out the, the building check check the structure order it is uh it is model very well or is having some error in modeling so as you can see building model check completed numbers of errors zero so we, we didn't we didn't encounter any error during the modeling of this structure so we are good to go click on close go study the way check this the member design check and also columns we don't have beam in this case so we don't need to check this provision for beam then click on start to begin analysis and so analysis is now in progress So building analysis completed successfully. The time elapsed is 14 minutes, 9 seconds. Click on OK. I want to be closing this. Then I will be showing you the result of this analysis. So we go straight away to the steel design tab click right there in the drop down menu i want to start from column so i will just select this column design so in this provisions you can see the column design so i must pass and then so failed you can see the utilization ratio this one is 1.75 which is greater than one and so we need to increase the sections of these columns and so they can be able to pass the design for us to do that, select there, go straight away to check selected. In the new dialog, you go straight away to change section. Click right there. And then click in that provision. I want to increase the thickness 
of this same section to 89. Select that. Click OK. You can see the utilization ratio is now less than one and it has passed the design now. Click on OK. The same thing I will do to this one. Check selected. Change section. Click right there. You notice I have not changed the whole of this section. It's only the thickness of the section I'm changing from 73 to 89. Just like that. Select that. Click on OK. And you notice this one has not stay passed. So you go back right there. Select that. Use this one. Select and OK. And then check design. Click on check design. It is still failing. So go back. Use 133. All right. Select that. Click OK. So it has passed now. You can see. So just click OK. So all the sections has passed the design. You can see the design status here. Yeah? All right, and the section class is the first one is session class two. First two is session class two, and the, the other two is session class one. You can see here, and the material strength is X355. But what we selected in the material edit dialog was X275. All right, so this is how the programs do select uh, members as well as materials after analysis and design based on the load applied. Okay. So we continue. Click on close to close this dialog. Let us check another member like beam. Click right there. So you can notice that some of the beams are failing and some are also passed. We are going to take the same procedure to be able to, you know, edit this beam, carry out interactive design. So select this one. Click on these provisions. Go straight away. Change section. Click right there. You are having this and this one, only two sections you are having for beam. So just select that and click on OK. It's still, it's still fairly so check check again. Go back, increase this beam to 254 by 254. Select that. It has passed. Alright, click on OK. The same thing you will do to 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 make the rest of the beam, the rest of the section of the beam to pass the design. It's something I've done. All right. So you will do that. Click on the closed. Go also straight away to check the polars. Click on the polars. You see that none of the polars is actually passing the design. All right. This one is so far beyond one. This one is 2.3. Far greater than one. All right. Check that. Go to change section. Click right there. Increase this section to 150. Select that. Click on OK. This one has passed. So just click on OK. You can see it has passed the design. The utilization ratio is less than this, but there is a warning here. There's a warning here. This one you can increase the section thickness. All right, to overcome this warning, select this one and then check selected member, change section. Go straight away here. Yeah? This time around, look at 150 or 180, 75 by 20. Select that. All right. You notice this has not still passed. Go back. Change this thickness to 90 and 26. Select that. It has passed the design. Click on OK. So you can now see now the statute, design statute is passed. Okay, so this is how you change sections to for the failed members and then interact to be able to enable them pass the design closed now. All right, so we have successfully checked the design for all the members. For the columns, go straight away to columns. Yeah, right click and then click on this column section design. In these provisions, you will notice that uh, the columns, almost all the columns are passed except this one. The last one and so you can see the bar provisions for it for you to make this one pass you just have to select that 
go to interactive design and then if you check very well you see notice that column still not calculated all right update that click on this place to to actually know the problem with that column the sixty bar size limit exceed numbers of bars must be increased so the issue there is you have to increase the numbers of bar in this and so how do you do that you can't uh actually come to this reset bar click there click on this reset bar and click on interactive design again what do you now have you have a still 20y 20 are this all right click on okay so this is the bars it actually gives to us for these columns which if you click on this okay you see it has passed all right we have a 4y 20 at this side and this side is also 4y 22 times 4y 20 so it all depends on it all depends on what you actually design this for all right so we'll go by that go straight away to close and then save the project we want to be working on the foundation now placing the foundation so we just have to click right there right click go to the plan view this is the foundation i light all the columns at the foundation level right click and then insert a uh, part base on check here because the loading may vary click on ok All right, so this is the type of foundations we are having for this provisions. All right, and this is quite big. Okay. So, if you actually need a square, this foundation we are formed based on these loadings. All right. So, it means there are much loadings from this side of this uh structure the polline loadings are actually the ones that result to this type of uh, footings all right so if you go straight away to the 3d so this is the type of uh, foundation we are actually having for this structure all right so i'll bring the lesson to To an end yeah as we have learned how to run analysis and design as well as foundations of this simple steel canopy I want to ask you to like the lesson and if you are new on the channel subscribe to get notified each time I upload the lesson of the sky stay tuned and bye for now